Hey everyone, in this video I'll show you how to make sure your macros are loaded automatically when you start ImageJ so you don't always need to go into the plugins, macros, and then run menu to select your macro. First let's open the macro file for editing so we'll go into plugins, macros, and edit and we will select, I'll have to go back a page and then go into the macros folder and then we can select JTE macro.ijm and this opens up the macro editor that you see here and this macro simply takes a stack that you've opened and splits it out into individual images which is what the stacked images function is doing and then it prints the name of the stack to the log. To run this macro in the normal way let's first open up a stack which is called candle tiff and I'm opening that up here and this has two slices one two and we can run the macro in the normal way by going to plugins macros run and then we just double click on that file. You can see it splits it out into two images and prints the stack name to the log. But instead of having to go in and select the macro file every time, I would rather it always be available in the plugins macro uh, section menu that you can see here. So to do this, we just need to add the macro code to the startup macro file. And we will again navigate to plugins, macros, edit and we'll open up the startup macros.fiji.ijm file you can see that here and I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom so you can see kind of the structure here uh, just because these are a little bit shorter and you can see it's macro and then the name of the macro and then the code in between these braces and we can take a look in the plugins macro uh, menu here and you can see down at the bottom we have that save inverted fits and then we also have save as JPEG etc etc so we're just going to copy this formatting for our macro, but first you can see up here this macro dash, and that's the menu divider. And so that is, if we go in here again, that's this line that appears between uh, certain sections that can isolate your macros a little bit better. So first let's just copy and then paste that down here and save it. And we can actually uh, install this because th this will open up uh, in ImageJ. Every single time you open up ImageJ, it'll run this macro. But we can check it right now without restarting ImageJ by going to Plugins, Macros, Install. We will install this startup macro. And then if we go to Plugins, Macros, we can now see that uh, menu divider at the bottom. Okay, now we're going to add our macro code. So I'm just going to go back into here. We'll go Plugins, Macros, Edit, open up the JTE macro. And I'm going to, first I'm going to copy this, and I'll just add this down here. We don't need what's in here. We're going to call it JTE macro. And then I'm just going to copy all this code. I'm going to put it in here, and I will tab to make it easy to read. Save it, and then now we can restart ImageJ. So we can see right now, first, before I restart, it's not there, right? We still have that divider in here, but the macro's not there, so I'm just going to close it, and then I'm going to open it again. And here it is opened, and we're going to go to Plugins, Macros, and now you can see it at the bottom. And we can just try this out by, again, dragging in this uh, stack, and then macros, JT macro, and then you can see it works just fine. So it'll always be available when you open up ImageJ. I hope this video was helpful, and thanks for watching.